the pendant. I was lying in bed watching a horror movie late at night. I almost fell asleep until I heard a loud, eerie noise coming out of the basement. I was all alone in the house, and that creepy sound got me on edge. It didn't help that I had just watched a gruesome horror flick. You see, I had just recently moved to this house a few months ago with my mum after my parents' divorce. And unfortunately, my mum was at my grandma's to help out with a project I was in dilemma and wanted to check the basement to reassure myself that the only person in the house was me. So I decided to venture out of my bedroom to take a quick look, but as soon as I stepped out of my room, I felt a strong rush of air behind my back. It was strong enough to make my hair move like someone or something moving rapidly from behind. A feeling of chill ran through my veins and the hair on my neck stood up. I was hesitant to turn around, but I knew I had to. When I did finally turn around, I found nothing in my room, but as I looked down near my feet, there was something unusual. Some sort of pendant lying on the floor. The pendant had markings on it that resembled a red cross mark, so red it looked like a cross made from blood. I became increasingly uneasy, and as my mind began to wander, I was petrified. I wondered. What does this mean, and did it get here in front of me when I know it isn't something that belongs to me or my mum? This whole thing was suspicious, and it was strange and terrifying too. I went back inside my room and decided to lock myself in and wait for my mum to come back from my grandma's house. I didn't want to face something unknown by myself. A few minutes later, I heard a knock at my door, thinking it was my mum. I opened the door immediately. When I opened the door, you wouldn't believe what I saw. A little boy standing in front of me. He looked so dull, with pale skin and black dark circles around his eyes. He seemed to be in pain. I looked at his arms and fingers that showed fresh cuts and blood coming from the cuts. I was so startled in that moment, wondering how he entered my house, and his appearance made me even more afraid. I came closer to him to make conversation and ask what he was doing in my house or how he even got here. But all of a sudden, he ran towards the basement. It felt like he wanted to tell me something or maybe wanted to show me something. I too followed him to the basement. The smell in the basement was pretty bad, like something had been rotting in it for ages. The little boy went and stood near an antique big metal chest. That basement was awfully weird, and I had second thoughts about being in there, and at that moment. The temperature dropped, and I could see the heat from breath with each, every exhale. I knew this was good, and the environment was bad. I walked closer to the chest where the boy was standing to inspect what was inside when the little boy pointed to something behind me. I turned around and saw a shadow of men standing in a dark corner of the basement. I was horrified and thought to run back into the house just as I began to make my move. The shadow transformed into an unnatural beast with large red eyes, large teeth, vicious claws and a deformed body covered in hair. I couldn't believe my eyes and I ran towards the door to escape, but it took a hold of me and attacked. The very next moment, I screamed and woke up from a nightmare, finding myself safe in my bed. I was so paranoid, I got up and expected my room. When I looked around, I found the same pendant lying next to my bed with this cross mark made in blood. <laughs>